Logistic regression is analogous to multiple linear regression, except the outcome is binary. Various transformations are employed on the linear regression line to convert the output to a probability. Now a linear regression line gives us a continuous values which do not have any bounds. We apply a transformation on the linear regression line so that the output is bounded to be a probability or the output is bounded to be between zeros and ones. So the function that we finally use in logistic regression is called the logistic response function. So logistic response function is a transformation, is a non-linear transformation which is applied on the linear regression line to convert the output of it into a probability. So let us see what that transformation is. So what we get out is probability of the observation being a 1 or the probability of y being a 1 and the transformation that is applied which is known as the logistic response function is this. So this is the logistic response function and you can see the familiar linear regression equation here. So we take the same linear regression equation and we apply this non-linear transformation on it so that the output is within zeros and ones. If we draw a chart it looks like this. If you have on the x-axis the linear regression line and if you have the probability of y is equal to 1 on the y-axis the curve would look like this. So this is also known as a S-curve because of the shape. So this is 1 and this is 0. Now you can see the probability never goes out of 1 or below 0 so it is bounded between zeros and 1's. This is the linear regression line. So we can verify that this always stays a probability that the maximum value this can take is 1 and the minimum value this can take is 0. So you can do that by taking x to be infinity once and then taking x to be minus infinity because this is the only variable in this equation. So if you, if you change the values of x's here to any large number what you would get is a probability between 0 and 1. Similarly when you change x to be a very small number you will still get a probability value. So the logistic response function is the nonlinear transformation which is applied on the linear regression line to convert a continuous output to a probability. And once we have this probability we can apply a threshold and convert it into a class either 0 or 1.